And then the last bit of news yesterday was info on Dominaria United. So much like Double Masters, Dominaria was a thing well before I got into magic. So I have never had the privilege um, of soaking up the story of Dominaria, the characters from Dominaria. I know that everyone loves Karn, uh, which is a big mainstay character in Dominaria. Um, so I'm excited to potentially go back and this fall we're getting a double set from Dominaria. We're doing Dominaria United first and then right after that we're doing Brothers War. Um, yeah, so they lifted the lid on United a little bit last night, yesterday. Magic heads into its 30th anniversary celebration with a return to an original setting, Dominaria. Rich in magic history and full of beautiful lands, mighty creatures, and renowned heroes, Dominaria United is a triumphant return to magic's home, celebrating 30 years of releases. Oh yeah, I guess... 2023 would be 30 years. 93 was the first set. That's that's intense. It's major applause to uh, Wizards, uh, Garfield, everyone involved in Magic the Gathering from the start, even all the people that are involved now. I know that there's a lot of far more public figures involved in Magic the Gathering. Rosewater, Gavin Verhey, um... All of these these fantastic people that are making this game 30 years is a long time to do anything it's a long time to have a successful company it's a long time to have a successful franchise it's a long time to make a successful product so i hope we go off for 30 years because that's a major accomplishment uh we've got to look at the dominaria united set logo and um title font title art looks like it's got some weird little runic circles dominaria set united code is going to be dmu commander set code is going to be dmc dominaria key dates september 2nd to 8th is the pre-release worldwide release september 9th that's pretty cool right after the summer get a brand new set full bore this time our return kicks off an epic story arc spanning four sets where the fate of dominaria and the multiverse is set to unravel four sets what i thought it was only two four sets that's pretty cool you can look forward to the story later this year and when we dive into dominaria united then we get a look at the packaging, the booster boxes, set boosters. We got a Johnny. I don't know who that is. Uh, collector's boosters. That's some pretty fun art. It looks like, I don't know, this, something about this art here and like this art, it's kind of like Captain Planety to me. It's very like, Saturday brunch cartoons family gathering which is probably not a bad thing I mean last fall we had dark gloomy Innistrad so perhaps something light and family friendly ish they do say that the fate of the multiverse might unravel so maybe it's not family friendly anyway uh there's more to share with you today collectors and fans that enjoy box topper boosters and collectors boosters can look forward to something special coming with dominar united and we'll share more on that later in august okay uh jump start jumps into each premiere set let's double down on dominar united update in addition to draft set collector boosters we're adding a fan favorite to the mix as well, beginning with Dominar United. Each set, each standard set release also includes themed jumpstart packs. Interesting. So jumpstart is like a, a 20 card pack that's themed. It'll be like plus one 
uh, one one counters or mill or life drain or ninjas or something like it's very particular flyers walls um, goblins there's lots of particularly themed cards that work well together and what you're supposed to do is buy two jumpstart packs mix them put them in the same deck and then play with that as a deck and it's kind of like an intro there's nothing too complicated about them uh replacing theme boosters okay so they're gonna do away with theme boosters which is good i when i first started buying magic again i i bought a lot of theme boosters mostly because i wanted particular Themes, some particular ideas. I wanted everything I opened to fit in the box I was trying to play in. Um, for Kamigawa, I bought the Ninjas theme booster because I just wanted more of those commons and uncommons from the Ninja set. Um, but I think replacing theme boosters with Jumpstar boosters is way cooler because there's still like a an air of mystery. You don't know what kind of jumpstart you're gonna get. Uh, each set will include several themes, each feeling right at home with what the set offers players. But don't let that stop you from mixing and matching for more mayhem as jumpstart packs release from Dominary United and beyond. That is actually something really interesting. Um, if they plan on doing jumpstart for every set moving forward, you could potentially have like a jumpstart tournament where players get to pick two different sets jumpstart packs and mix those into a deck. That'd be really fun, actually. Uh, jumpstart packs for Dominaria, Dominaria United feature cards from the set, including a rare or mythic, two foil basic lands, and a mechanically unique rare designed from the jump for the Jumpstart pack. Plus, these Jumpstart packs will be available as part of Dominaria United pre-release events September 2nd. Interesting. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm excited for Dominaria. I don't know a lot about it, so like... Investment wise, I'm not thrilled about it. There's nothing Innistrad got me excited because I love Gothic horror. Um, Kamigawa got me excited because I love um, Neo Tokyo, um, ancient Tokyo, uh, ancient Eastern cultures in general. The set we're currently in, New Capenna, isn't necessarily my favorite. I'm not like salivating for any of it it's fun um and so because i don't know what flavor dominaria is it just seems like the azeroth of magic the gathering it's like dominaria this is our main planet plane where it all started uh, I understand them going back to Dominaria for their anniversary, and if they've got some big story stuff coming. Obviously, like I say all the time, these sets are designed and prepared like sometimes up to four years in advance. So they obviously have something big coming this fall slash this spring. They've known that this winter Flash next spring will be their anniversary, so they've been planning for it for a while. Obviously, they chose Dominaria for a reason, so that gets me excited. I don't have to know everything. Um, don't clip that. Or ever tell my partner I said that. I don't have to know everything to get excited about something. Especially something that is so core to Magic the Gathering. People, people love it. People love these characters. Um, and I'm excited to take my first trip to Dominaria this fall. Um, they're also bringing Love Your Local Game Store back. Trying to get people in store. So last set with New Capenna, they did, they did away with their early pre-release on 
arena they wanted to get people back in stores now that the pandemic was kind of slowing up a bit doors were opening they were having more social gatherings so they nixed the arena pre-release uh, because arena used to get that a week early and they invited everyone to enjoy paper pre-releases at their local game store this is another one of those initiatives where they make cool, unique cards that you can only get if you go in and take part in whatever your local game store deems worthy enough to earn one of these. This, this one in particular actually specifies what you need to do to get it. You spend $50 or more on sealed magic product to get a promo. That's real easy to do. Um... I do think, yeah, so this is only available at WPN stores, Wizards Premier Network stores. And I'm in Vancouver and there's only one WPN store around here. And it's the one store I never want to go to. Because they suck. They're rude. Um, and giving them 50 USD or more in order to get a re retro framed soul ring I mean I would probably do it it's a cool card got that Mike Bierick art on it with the old alpha borders I, I would probably do it it's pretty cool $50 isn't that hard to spend I don't I don't know if they're going to change that to like Canadian dollars. So we would have to spend like $70 Canadian, 65. It'll probably just be $50 Canadian. So this is stuff that like Wizard sends to the stores for free in order to drum up more business. It's basically marketing. Um, and I have no problem getting a soul ring for a marketing campaign. Problem at all. Um, and that's starting July 1st, which is the same day... That's the Double Masters preview. The Double Masters is taking the place of the corset this summer. Um... Starting July 1st, the Premier Store's preview events are happening. You can spend $50 or more on sealed product and get, and potentially get a an alpha framed full ring. It is limited supplies, so the store, your local store, might not get any. Um, hopefully, if they're a WPN store, they will get some. But, um... Wizards is only going to send these stores X amount of cards. But once they've given them all out, they're not going to get any more. And I don't know how many cards these places usually get for the Love Your Local Game Store promos. I can't assume it's that many. Um... Battle in-store championships this July. Soul Ring isn't the only new promo card available. Players will have a chance to show their medal in the July store championships scheduled to take place early July. So um, July 9th is when the Double Masters 2022 releases. Uh, features format. From draft, sealed, standard, modern, pioneer, store championships let you battle for local bragging rights, earn a special promo card, and challenge your skills. So they've got a special participating players take home a promo flat flame slash. Well, the one on the left there. Um, top eight competitors earn Archmage's Charm. And then winners take home the Dark Confidant full art, no text. You gotta look it up on the Gatherer page in order to figure it out. 
No text on that bad boy. Okay, finally we get a little peek. Um, the Baldur's Gate stuff. The gate to new adventure for alchemy and historic players. Oh, this is arena. In the prosperous and influential city of Baldur's Gate, magic and Dungeons and Dragons cross over once more in Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate, arriving July 7th. So they're doing the same thing they did um, with... I can't even remember what they did it with. Innistrad? Alchemy Horizons. Um, is like a supplement to Alchemy. New mechanics, new legends. Uh, July 7th. Premier play stuff. I thought they were going more in depth. I guess the... Where is the information on Boulder's Gate? Is that not coming out yet? Must have shared it with Brother Bull. Bulling? had a promo and we're gonna talk about boulders gate I put it in discord May 17th boulders gate kickoff oh that's the twitch channel what is this, YouTube? Well, it's not happening yet. We still have to wait a little bit for Baldur's Gate news. Hello, bring me to the tweet I clicked on. There it is. They've got this cute little miniature set. Oh, there's a card there. It's probably just a Minsk. May 17th, 9 a.m. Pacific. Oh, I guess we gotta wait. Uh, what else did they talk about? Oh, so they showed a bit of a release schedule. And this is the interesting part, is that we just read 20 minutes ago that the Dominaria set is four parts. So you have to assume that the major set in Q3 is Dominaria. The major set in Q4 is Dominaria. So the major set in Q1 and Q2 will also be Dominaria. Whatever Lacrosse and Marathon are, um, are gonna be Dominaria. And then this Marathon epilogue will be like a Supplementary set, maybe a commander set. Today's announcement doubled up on things to share, but we're not done yet. August 18th, we'll be back with our launch of, a new, of Wizards Presents. Loaded with first looks of the upcoming Year of Magic sets. Oh, so they're going to do a big blowout video. Which makes sense, because they're leading into... Um, the Dominaria 4 set. So, doing a big blowout. 
right before that happens is probably smart. August 18th. I'm excited. And then after, so if Dominaria ends in Q2, that means netball and off-roading are going to be two completely different sets. Hmm. Netball and off-roading. Seems like they're all sports related. Sports act action sports related. I don't know. And that that's it. That's it for all the news. Um we looked at the 40k stuff. We talked about uh double masters talked about Dominar United this fall. We talked about jump start replacing team boosters. Love your local game store promo with this beautiful alpha soul ring. More promos. And then Baldur's Gate uh, event is happening on the 17th of May. So next week. Hopefully we'll we'll get some cool news. I don't know if they're gonna blow it out completely um, and give us the whole set list. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, I think I saw someone posted a list of first look at commander. to find yeah so this is the previews information uh discord office hours friday may 27th wait didn't it say be sure to tune into official magic to get your first deep dive into the cards mechanics and big reveals ahead of the global release on june 10th so they're not going to go into everything on the 17th they are going to show off some big cards dive into the mechanics um and then there's going to be a whole slew of previews starting on the 17th it's really cool to see people like rebel sun uh edh rec corolla geek these people getting day one previews is pretty neat um may 18th may 19th so may 17th is the preview week lots of stuff coming out they're going all the way until may 26th and then on the 30th they're gonna have the jumbo commander um, uh, mud stuff game nights big blowout preview so that'll be fun that's all we know so far. Um, I'm going to take a quick uh, bio break and I think I'm going to try building a nice little standard deck. I've got some stuff in the works. I need to put something together uh, for Monday. So I will be right back and we can chat and look at some 